there was a growing feeling there should be some kind of international organization. And I think it was in 1974 that um, what was then called SHRG, so the Scottish uh, Homosexual Rights Group, uh, um, organized a conference in, in, in Edinburgh. And that led to COC contacting us. Um, so us was the campaign for homosexual equality in London. The guys who were working on the international stuff, they said, well, why not come to our CHE annual conference, we'll organize a side event, we'll publicize it, and we'll see who we can get to come to Coventry. And sure enough, about 20 or 30 people turned up. I think some people thought that it should be a European organization, but um, some had come from uh, one or two Australia, New Zealand, and the United States. And they said, no, no, it's got to be a global organization. And this, of course, seemed wildly, wildly over optimistic and most improbable because there was no money. And in those days, communicating globally wasn't very easy because there wasn't the internet. Um, and it was down to telephoning and, and snail mail. Um, On the way, there, were, there was, in the early 80s, uh, um, in quite a lot of European countries, there was a, a big split between the women and the men. Mm. And basically, uh, um, what the women were finding was that the gay movement was uh, very patriarchal uh, um, and women were not given their fair share of the voice and everything else. Uh, it was not an equal arrangement. And so they walked out and, and they walked out in, in Ilga as well. And it took quite a long way through the 1980s for those rifts to be healed, papered over, whatever it was. And it was particularly the HIV and AIDS crisis was one of the things that, that brought people back together again. What was so extraordinary about those early days was you know, we were all kind of infected with the spirit of gay liberation. It was gay liberation that had brought us out and it was what had happened at Stonewall and that spirit of Stonewall that was spreading even in the days before the internet and everything, it was spreading with remarkable rapidity. I think maybe that gave the sense that really this is something that could change everything. It was very exciting to see that spread for this little paper organization which had no resources to find that this enthusiasm existed. We started with this very binary world of lesbians and gays and we were of our time. It's been one of the great miracles I think of the last 20 years is the way in which the trans movement has grown and it's amazing to look back over the last 20 years and see how the trans movement has moved on and how it's become powerful. Intersex is much more recent certainly in my experience as a movement really to the last five or so years but again it's part of this really exciting progression. You know, we go from this difficult world in about 1978 or 79 when the men and women can hardly speak to each other and we're going moving forward into this world where there's so much greater acceptance of um, um, all the different varieties of, 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 of identity and people not feeling threatened and being able to accept that and, and being open. 40 years, it's a great moment to celebrate, to look back at this extraordinary progression that's happened. Of course, what that progression uh, has also shown is how huge the challenges are in so many parts of the world. And so my 40th anniversary wish to uh, Ilga is keep strong, grow, 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 because the challenges are there. We can win. It's going to take another 40 or 50 years to really move the needle in a lot of countries. It's not going to be easy, but doing that will change the lives of so many peoples and it will also help entrench democracy human rights and the rule of law. It's part of that fantastic process of democratizing uh, and improving the human rights and rule of law environment for everybody. So it's not just something for LGBTI people, it's for the whole community. So I think um, uh, uh, what we, Ilga, we must take heart, we must believe in our mission and we must keep fighting because we're going to win. It's going to take time, but it's going to be an incredibly exciting journey and an incredibly rewarding one as it has already been for the last 40 years.